In my previous video, I showcased the intimate woes of building a computer under $300. I learned a lot during the process, but I learned even more through y'all's comments. Thanks guys. My video showcased a single way to build a computer under $300, but there are actually several different methods, and the best one depends on your needs specifically. If all you plan to do is play Fashion Famous on Roblox, and don't ask me how I know of that game, then your needs are gonna vary pretty differently from the eager Starfield player. At least I think so. Okay, before we begin, let me let you in on two caveats that kind of break the title of this video. But it's a little scandalous, so here I go. The easiest way to get into gaming? Buy a console. The Xbox Series S used or on sale or even at MSRP is great value. If you don't care about computer functionality at all, you just want something that'll game and is easy to use out of the box, this is a great option. I mean, it, it plays Starfield out of the box. That's amazing. And the same principle applies when buying a used gaming computer. Here in Atlanta, I can find a used $300 PC with good specs. And some of the listings actually include a monitor, mouse, keyboard as well. Basically, if there are pre-built options that meet your needs and are within your budget, then check them out. It's totally okay. All right, now that those caveats are out of the way, let's, uh, let's get started. The first option is to just build a new computer for $300. For people that play games like CSGO, Valorant, Fortnite, and vanilla Minecraft, this is a decent starting place. I recommend the Ryzen 5 4600G APU, which is a processor and a video card smashed into one. Combined with 16 gigs of RAM of fast memory, you'll get yourself a pretty casual yet respectable gaming experience. And you can always add a dedicated video card later on once you've saved a little bit more money. This option also has huge potential because you are on one of the greatest platforms ever in computer history, AM4. You have dozens of upgrade options, including the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which at one point was the greatest gaming processor ever. Now I understand if you only want to buy new components, especially if it's your first time building a computer. That's why this option is here, but we can dramatically improve our gaming experience out of the box if we just take a look at the secondhand market. I replaced only a couple new components with secondhand components in option two, but the repercussions are huge. Instead of the 4600G, pick up a Ryzen 5 1500X and a cooler for about $40 total on AliExpress or eBay. There are also options there. And then buy a used RX 588 gig for about $50. If you keep all of the other components the same as an option one, you will spend about the same amount of money, but you get double the performance or more right out of the box. And you still have access to that amazing upgrade path. Obviously there are downsides to this. The first one being that it'll take you about a month for you to get your components from AliExpress since you're shipping it overseas. Now, if you think that you can save more money, substantially more money in that month, this might not be worth it. Secondly, you are using used components, which means that you do sacrifice your warranty. I don't think this is a big deal because A, CPUs, mostly outlive their warranties anyway, and this GPU is, for the most part, new. But if the used market and secondhand components doesn't bother you at all, then this final option is for you. If you want the best performance right out of the box, you don't really care that much about upgradability, you just want the best computer possible, I recommend this one. Our final option is buying a workstation PC and upgrading it. And oh my goodness, I love this one. I showcased a version of this when I tried to build a $168 PC in my previous video. But as you guys saw, there were many shortcomings with it. A workstation PC, specifically the HP Z440, gets rid of almost all of those shortcomings. Most of the hardware in the Z440 is standard, meaning that you can replace it with parts that you would buy from Amazon or Newegg without any kind of adapters or any finagling. And even though it's on a dead platform, its upgrade options are pretty insane. The actual workstation costs about $120 and this is what it includes. A modern six core processor, an ATX motherboard with eight RAM slots and five PCIe slots, 
two of which are PCIe Gen 3 with the full 16 lanes, pretty phenomenal, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 700 watt power supply with 80% efficiency, and of course, everything is enclosed in a case. And because it's made for enterprise customers, it is crazy reliable. And to turn this into a gaming computer, it's really simple. All you do is pick up a $25 500 gig SSD, a $9 M.2 adapter, and then an eight gigabyte video card for like $120. And you have yourself a really good machine out of the box for like $280 before taxes. So not only is this the cheapest option on the list, but it's also the fastest right out of the gate. But even with everything that is available at your fingertips at just $300, you also have a fourth and kind of final option, and that's saving up. And that's very valid. Holiday season is right around the corner. And with that comes a lot of really good deals and sales. And if you think you can save, let's say another hundred bucks over the next few months, that might be worth it. And even if you don't put that money towards a better computer itself, you can put that money towards even a better setup, which is what I plan to do. I'm currently in the process of changing my entire setup because my needs have dramatically changed ever since I quit my software engineering gig about a month and a half ago. I'm currently a full-time content creator, woo, and I'm also in grad school. And so a lot of things just have changed in my life. So I'm on the lookout for good secondhand and new deals to revamp my entire setup. Daniel Titchener is currently an inspiration of mine and he is an interior designer that focuses on affordable design that still looks good and lasts you a long time. I kid you not, as I was finishing the script of this video, he uploaded a video detail in his new bedroom office because his life circumstances as a dad has changed and he needs his setup to be conducive of that. He showed a cool setup that was equal parts functional and aesthetic. And I got to watch it early for everyone else on Nebula. Nebula is a streaming platform made by creators and it allows us to just make good content without thinking too much about click-through rate or, or titles or thumbnails or other potential distractions. On Nebula, you get early access to content like Daniel Titchener's bedroom office makeover tour video. And then there are other things as well, like Nebula Originals or Nebula Classes. A really, really helpful class right now is Business 101 by Thomas Frank, because as I'm transitioning to full-time content creation, knowing my numbers and admin stuff is extremely important. Nebula supports me and my friends on our full-time journey. And if you're interested, then you can actually pick up a lifetime membership on Nebula using the link in the description. And in an age of subscriptions, this is honestly a really cool offering. Now I know that won't work for everyone, so you can still try out the annual subscription and see how you like it. You get 40% off using my link, which is also in the description, and it totals to about $2.50 a month, and it really helps. So, to my current Nebula subscribers, thank you. And to the new ones, welcome, and also thank you. But that's it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, then leave a like, and if you loved it, share, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And let me know what you think of my different builds, and if there's any that I'm missing. This is a community-driven video, and I think the community has a lot to offer. So if there are other things that you would change, post them down, and I'll try to respond to them. All right, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.